Welcome to the Motion Tag Series. In this series of short clips, we will introduce you to all the tags associated with Motion Layout. Here is a glance of different episodes we will go through in this series. Today, we're going to start by talking about Motion Layout and Motion Scene. This video was recorded using Constraint Layout 2.0 Beta 5 and Android Studio 4.0. So what is Motion Layout? Motion Layout is a layout type based on constraint layout that helps you manage motion and widget animations in your app. The simplest way to create a motion layout is to use Android Studio. Here, we have a layout using constraint layout. We want to convert it to a motion layout, so on the design surface, right-click on the preview and you'll see Convert to Motion Layout. A dialog will pop up letting you know we'll be converting to motion layout and creating a motion scene file. Now we have a motion layout in the motion editor. In the XML, you will see that the constraint layout tag was replaced with motion layout. There's also a layout description attribute, which points to the motion scene file. The motion scene file is an XML file that contains multiple states and transitions between them. So now we have a motion layout tag in our layout and its layout description attribute points to an XML file containing a motion scene tag. In this exam example motion layout, we will demonstrate a few useful attributes to use when debugging animations. If we add the motion debug attribute, it allows us to visualize the animations. Show progress displays the frame rate, transitions constraint sets, progress, and current state. Show path displays the path moving objects will take. Note, this does not include key time cycles. Show all displays all debugging information available. Moving over to the motion scene. The motion scene tag has a default duration attribute, which provides a duration to transitions if no transition is defined for that state. Motion Layout has many tags, and we plan to cover them all in this series. Coming up next, we'll cover constraint sets and constraints. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Mm -hmm.